Hello, Patrick Henry. Today is Friday, January the 8th, 2021. Can you believe we're in 2021 already? I want to welcome you all back and I hope that you all had a nice break. You were able to do some fun things, get some rest and relax, maybe uh, visit some friends, depending. Um, so I hope you guys had a great first week back. I know your teachers are all excited to see you and um, you're going to have a great rest of the year. Um, today we have our VIP uh, speaker, our fifth grader, Chelsea Mendoza, and she's been working very, very hard on her speech. So we're going to go now to that. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello students and staff, my name is Chelsea Mendoza and today I will be sharing fairness. Fairness is not showing favoritism to certain people. I think fairness means to treat people the same way. For example, a few months ago, our mom took my sister and I to the store to go buy a toy for us. My sister got a toy that I could not get because it was too expensive to buy two of the same toys for us. I was kind of disappointed that my mom could only get a toy for only one of us, so I asked her if I could get something different that did not cost so much. My mother did get something different for me. In the end, it was a win-win for me and my sister because I got a different toy that I like and my sister got the toy that she wanted. My mother used fairness. The first reason fairness is important is so everyone feels valued. President Bill Clinton says, in our hearts and in our laws, we must treat all our people with fairness and dignity, regardless of their race, religion, or gender. This means a lot to me. It really says to respect your neighbor and treat them with kindness. The second reason fairness is important is because if you show fairness to a person, they will show fairness to other people. Thank you for your time and have a great day. Great job, Chelsea. Thank you so much. And thank you to Mr. Burke. Uh, Chelsea, you are being caught this week by Mr. Burke, actually, for your diligence and determination in preparing your speech. He was very, very impressed in how seriously you took your task and how hard you worked on it. Um, and you did everything beautifully. So thank you. Thank you, Chelsea. Uh, and you are also being caught today. We have a few other caught Isla Rose in Miss George's class. Isla, you're being caught for just being a model student and for doing everything right, for being helpful, for being engaged in the class, and for doing everything you're supposed to be doing. So Isla, we are very, very proud of you. Thank you for your hard work and for representing Patrick Henry so well. Miss Peyton has a few to share. First of all, Miss Peyton had some issues with her connection on the internet this week. And um, Miss Walker and Miss Holland stepped in to help and assist with that. So first of all, Miss Peyton wants to give a shout out to Miss Holland and Miss Walker for their support and their assistance while Miss Peyton was trying to work through a few tech issues. And to parents out there, sometimes that's going to happen. Sometimes classes might not start right on time. Um, know that your teachers are doing everything they can do to get online and to make sure that things run smoothly. You all have been wonderful. We truly appreciate your patience and kindness um, during this time. Miss uh, Peyton would also like to recognize Eve Ortiz Branch. She has really blossomed in the virtual classroom and she started out the year being very shy and very reserved, but now she's working really, really hard and she's coming to class with her camera on and she's ready to learn and she's participating. She stays late to ask questions and she completes all of her assignments. So we are so proud of you, Eve, and you just keep up the good work and it will pay off, I promise. Miss Peyton also wants to recognize Zoe Williams. She has really improved her math skills. She's been stepping to the plate. She has great self-advocating skills. That means that she speaks up when she knows that she needs extra help or that she doesn't understand something. So she raises her hand and she shares her answers in math 
and um, she's working very, very diligently with Miss Peyton and also with Miss Bell in small groups. She's often one of the first students to raise her hand or share an answer during math. So Zoe, we're so proud of you and you're actually showing a lot of leadership as well, which is something we love to encourage at Patrick Henry. Great job, Zoe, we're proud of you. Miss Peyton is so proud of the patience and extra effort that her entire class has shown. So she's recognizing everyone in her class. Um, again, they experienced some issues with the internet connection, but the students were so patient and they were helpful to each other. They were truly using their second step skills. Um, so thank you for those, Miss Davis, our school counselor. Um, as the issues were being resolved, they were helpful to each other and helpful to Miss Peyton. And Miss Peyton definitely wants to recognize her class because she believes that they're very, very strong leaders. And once again, um, showing leadership is something we really love to see at Patrick Henry. So great job. Um, she also has an epic update and you all are going to be just amazed at the number. The students have now read over 1,100 books. That is just a, an amazing, great accomplishment, Miss Peyton's class. So they're throwing out the challenge to all the other classes. Let's see how many you can read as well. But Miss Peyton's class, um, you guys are doing an incredible job. Reading is so important and you're showing that you love to read, which is just amazing. And that is the best way to go into our weekend. Um, with that, those are the only kachas that we have for the week. Um, I'm hearing good things and seeing good things uh, from our students in the classroom, so keep up the good work.